All right, in this video, we're going to talk about absolute value and do some a few basic examples. And absolute value is sometimes described as being the distance of a number from zero on the number line. I don't know. I never really thought about that. Um, the way I always thought of it is, I almost thought about the bars as being like parentheses. So you're going to have to simplify everything inside at first. Obviously, we're doing a simple example here. Basically, it says the resulting number, if the number on the inside is positive, well then it stays positive. If it's negative, like negative 5, you just again make it positive. And that's somehow what absolute value does. It just makes things positive. So let's do a couple examples here. Suppose I have 2 minus 8 in absolute value. Again, you can't just break up the absolute value and somehow make this positive 2 plus positive 8. That's not the idea. Again, think about this stuff as like it's parentheses. So you want to simplify inside first. So 2 minus 8, that's negative 6. Okay, I've now got a single thing. The absolute value of negative 6 is just plain old positive 6, and that's your answer. Suppose I have the absolute value of negative 2 minus the absolute value of 10. All right, well, the absolute value of negative 2 just turns into positive 2. The minus sign stays the minus sign. It's not inside the absolute value bars. And then the absolute value of 10 is 10. And 2 minus 10 equals negative 8. And that's your solution. Let's do a few more examples here of absolute value. Suppose I have 5 times the absolute value of negative 3 plus negative absolute value of negative 8 squared. All right, well, in this case, again, we're going to do just the same thing. We'll simplify down our absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 3, that's going to turn into just positive 3 plus the absolute value of negative 8 is just positive 8, and we still have to square that. 5 times 3 is 15. 8 times 8 is 64. If we add these, we're going to get 79, and that's our solution. Maybe one more absolute value problem here. Suppose I have 3 times 4 minus 8, the absolute value of that, minus 2 times 1 plus 4, absolute value of that, again, all squared. Well, again, I'm going to simplify everything down inside the absolute value to begin with and then just go from there. So 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Again, even though it's a negative 4, I'm going to just keep working on the inside. Minus 2 times 1 plus 4 is just 5 squared. So 3 times negative 4, that's negative 12. 2 times 5 is 10 squared. The absolute value of negative 12 is just plain old positive 12. The minus sign again is not in the inside the absolute value, so we'll leave that alone. And the absolute value of 10 is just 10. I still have to square that though. So 10 times 10 is 100. And now, at this case, I get 12 minus 100. What is that? I think about it as being 100 minus 12, which is 88. But 
since it's 12 minus 100, I'll get negative 88 as my solution. And that's all there is to um, absolute value. So again, the basic idea, just simplify everything down inside the absolute value bars before you start trying to get rid of your positives and your negatives and all of that stuff. So hope these examples make some sense. Definitely feel free to take a look at my website, justmathtutoring.com. Should be a link on the right side of this video that'll take you there. There's a whole bunch of other um, videos that are nice and organized. Should be easy to find some other, some other topics if you've got other questions. I hope this helps.